Hello, we are Chinese Pod. We're coming from Shanghai, China. My name is Ken Carroll, and I'm Jenny. We have a newbie lesson. Is that right, Jenny? Yes, we do. Ah,、uh, would you tell us something about it?、Mm, we're at the hotel and、yes. getting our room keys. Room keys.、Uh. Okay. Now, in fact,、uh, you don't see keys very often in hotels these days. Nope. I haven't seen a room key in、mm. years. It actually takes the form of a card. Yes. Doesn't it? I'm not actually sure. What do we say? Like in the Western world, I don't know anymore. Do we call them keys still? Those room? Are they room? What do we call the card? However, in Chinese, we do call them room cards. Room cards. Ah.、Uh. Uh, do you know what they're called in English? I, I don't know. John Hustom did some googling, and it seems like it's a、uh, key card. Key cards. Yes. Oh, it's kind of strange. <laughs> These things are cards. They function as keys, so I guess you could call them key, key cards, cards, room cards. Call them what you want. In Chinese, however, you call them. 房卡，房卡，房卡、mm. There you go. Very, very logic. Straightforward and logical. There you go. So we're at the hotel. You're picking up your 房卡，房卡 at the reception desk, I believe. And、uh, so let's listen to the dialogue three times, and then we'll come back and we'll help you to、uh, to piece it all together. Dialogue first time. 先生。您的房卡，谢谢。是哪个房间？是二零八房间。好的。Second time， 先生，您的房卡，谢谢。是哪个房间？是二零八房间。好的。Third time， 先生，您的房卡。谢谢。是哪个房间？是二零八房间。好的。Okay, let's translate it, shall we? Sure. 先生，您的房卡。Sir, your room card. 先生，您的房卡。Sir, your room card. 先生，您的房卡。谢谢。是哪个房间？ Thank you.、Uh, which room is it? 谢谢，是哪个房间 ？Thanks.、Uh, which room is it? 谢谢，是哪个房间？是二零八房间。It's room two zero eight. 是二零八房间。It's room two o eight. 是二零八。房间，好的。Okay. 好的。All right. 好的。So there you are. Hmm. A simple but very useful exchange. You are almost certainly going to hear、yes. uh, this now.、Uh, of course, the, in the big hotel, they'll speak English.、Mm. But we do encourage you to try to engage in as much Chinese as you can.、Yes. Generally speaking, if you engage staff, I find in hotels in Chinese, they'll generally reply in Chinese、mm. to you. Yeah. And they'll pick up, of course, that you may not be completely fluent in the language, so they'll keep it nice and simple. And that's what we've tried to do here. Now,、mm. let's take it again from the top, Jenny. So. We can look at the individual items. Yeah, 先生，您的房卡。先生，您的房卡。Now let's take it from the back. Of course, we had the word key card or room card, and that was 房卡，房卡。Now, what are the tones there, please, Jenny? Second and third. Second and third. So let's hear that one more time, please. 房卡。Fang car. Now the word car mimics the English sound card. Yes. 
And it does mean a card. And that's what it means. Yes. Need a card. And the fang means a room. A room. Mm. Okay, so literally, room card is how you translate it in Chinese. Yeah. Your room card. And so the expression your room card was. 您的房卡 Now notice that this is a very polite form. Mm, it's an honorary form. An honorary form. So you say 您, 您, with the end sound and second tone. Okay. So, 您, which 您, is an honorary form of 你. It's a very polite form. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And 你的, as in yours. Right? Yes. So you're a room card. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to... Chinese Pod Trivia! Our first question is, how long will it take you to become an intermediate Chinese speaker using the Chinese Pod app? Is it A, the rest of your life? B, you should already be an intermediate speaker? C, three months? Or D, Chinese Pod has an app? Uh, you should already be in... Ooh, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, three months. That's right. Head over to ChinesePod.com now to register for your access to over 4,000 lessons. Get the Chinese Pod app now on Google Play or the App Store. Now, you addressed the gentleman as? 先生. 先生. Uh, so that means mister, it means sir, sir yeah. it means man, uh, mm. it can mean a lot of different things. Literally translated, it actually means firstborn, right? Yes. Something along those lines. How sexist. There you go. Who knows? <laughs> of course, the reply is a thank you. Uh, and uh, you want to know which room it is. Now, the expression here of fang jian means mm, a room. Room. Mm. All right. It literally means room. And the context is clear that it's a hotel room. Yep. How did you ask which room is it? Okay, now, so the verb 是, the fourth tone is to be. Yes. So, uh, it's kind of an auxiliary verb. Which room is it in that mm. sense? 哪个, meaning? Which one? Which one. Mm. Great, now, let's look at it. So, in this case, we're saying which room, and that is? 是哪个房间? Now, this construction could use with other nouns. Yeah. Right? You could say, which? Which room card? For example, okay. 哪个房卡? Good. Or 哪个人? 哪个人? So which person? person? Mm. Right. So there you go. In this case, it's the room number was. 二零八是二零八房间. Right. Now again, we have the verb to be again, which is. 是是. And uh, the word for room, which was. 房间, 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 and mm. so the number 208 is 208, Now the tones there for 二, fourth tone, yeah. 二, and 零, 零, second tone, yeah. and we have 八, 八, that's the first tone. Okay, so 二零八, mm. there you go. 二零八房间, uh, room 208. And so, uh, it's just to, to round off the discourse, you say. 好的, 好的, which expresses agreement. Yes, so there you go. Mm. All right, let's listen to that three more times, shall we? 第六, first time. 先生，您的房卡。谢谢。是哪个房间？是二零八房间。好的。Second time，先生，您的房卡。谢谢。是哪个房间? 是二零八房间。好的。Third time. 先生,您的房卡。谢谢。是哪个房间? 
，是二零八房间。好的。Now this again is a very simple way for you to engage in Chinese if you're traveling and.、Uh, A lot of people, more and more people, are indeed traveling to China.、Yes. So here's your way to listen on your iPod,、uh, get it down, and just you know when you get into the hotel lobby, just give it a shot, give it some practice.、Yes. Mm. Um, there's different ways, of course, we talk about learning here. Certainly at the level of input, you can go to ChinesePod.com. You can see this stuff, hear this stuff in different contexts. You can play with it. You can consume it the way it suits you, because that's the whole idea. But what really will help is also is if you go out and if you actually、mm. try to speak it and use it and find somebody with whom. To practice, and、uh, you know, hotel staff are they there to help? Are they not? <laughs> they have plenty of time, I'm sure. Oh,、uh, <laughs> so sure about that. <laughs> they、one. have plenty of willingness.、Yeah. That's right. Okay. Well, we have plenty of willingness too, but unfortunately, we've run out of time.、Mm. So we will be willingly back again tomorrow with another lesson. Is that not so, Jenny? That is true. Always true. Okay. And what do you think we should say in the meantime? 再见再见 As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number zero seven two one. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/slash zero seven two one, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/slash zero seven two one. 